God evening beautiful souls what's up y'all this is me the means once again I am the time Oracle it is Tuesday night it is August 9th 2022 we're at the 23rd hour 40 minutes in it is 11 40 p.m. Love is about to change everything. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, oh boy. Love is about to change everything. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. And I feel like this is a beautiful message, but when are people going to learn? And I've heard this message before many times. Here's new love, but oh boy, here comes a past love. Like, go away. Somebody is okay, so as long as you are still single. Somebody has a stalker here. And this this person, this stalker, whoever this person is from the past, they know they cannot get back in your good graces. They know they have no place in your future. They know you won't take them back. But for the most part, they feel like, okay, so as long as you are still single, they can live with that. Until someone new comes along. Then here their asses come. Trying to stop, block, and sabotage. Mm hmm Oh boy. There will be problems. There will be problems. Oh yeah. At least that's how someone is looking at it. There will be problems. It's not going to be easy. Somebody from your past is not going to make it easy for a new love. Um, yeah, somebody's going to definitely cause some problems here. Somebody may even go as far as paying someone to sabotage this new connection. That's just what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is a nagging, annoying energy that just won't go away. Yep. Oh boy. But let's stay on the positive side of this reading because somebody new is coming in. This is a godsend. Yep. What's crazy is that I'm looking at my lava lamp right now and even my lava lamp confirms, okay? It looked like there is a whole new person coming in. This person was made just for you. This person is different. They are authentic. I feel like they they mirror you. 
I feel like there's something about them that's going to stand out. There's something about them that's going to let you know that they are just for you. Something about their story, their past, their life, or where they're going. I don't know. All I know is this, whoever this new person is who is coming into your life as a new love, this person is destined for you, okay? Let's get into this book. Speak to me, Father God. Speak to me, Father God. What is going on? What is going on? Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see, Father God. Speak to me now. Speak to me now, Father God. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Who is this reading for? Speak to me now. A rose, a concrete rose, or a diamond in the rough. Someone comes alone. Someone comes single as hell. Someone could possibly have no one in their life. Something tragic could have happened to someone where they don't have family or friends for that matter something about a person who is coming in literally alone mm -hmm. something about feet someone's feet Or someone's ankles, a scar. The letter A, the number six. I see 2-6, 26, February 6th or June 2nd. Also, 2-G, 2-G. Boy, oh boy. Mm, 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 mm. The letter T, the letter J. The letter L. Sneakers. Some Jordans. Literally, I see the Jordan logo. Mm hmm. It's right here. Something about a lighthouse, a lighthouse, taking a leap of faith. Somebody's going to try. And this is the person from the past. Someone's going to take that leap of faith to contact you. I see a sad face over here. I also see a butterfly. You've come a long way. I feel like somebody from the past is looking at you like you're not the same person anymore in a good way. So someone is afraid of who you've become because they don't know how to approach this new you.
the letter V like Victor. The letter M like Mary. Something about Christmas here, Christmas, December, possibly December 26th, the day after Christmas. Number four. Something about a hammer. A hammer needing repairs. Someone trying to fix something. Boy, oh boy. I see a tree. Mm -hmm. Something about a tree where there is one beautiful rose growing right near the tree, right around the tree. This is one. Something about a park and you're going to notice this one rose because it's going to be the only rose near that tree. A safety pin. I see a safety pin. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get these cards. We have lessons and blessings at the bottom of this deck. Mm hmm Yep. Somebody is sitting in their sorrow, thinking about what could have been, thinking about what they did wrong. Somebody is sorry. At the bottom of this deck, we have the sixth house. It says routine. You see that man right there? Mm hmm Yeah. Let's see what else comes out. Father God, speak to me now. What is going on? Okay. This is equivalent to the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Now we have this void, of course, moon at the bottom here. It says missing. Somebody could have walked away. This is equivalent to eight of cups. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I just heard since you've been gone. We have Sagittarius. Sacrifice. Blessings. The sun. Scorpio, mm -hmm. messages, Leo, Libra, partners, transformation, healing, and the body. Mm -hmm. I feel like the universe done set this person down. This person from your past, I feel like they thought they could get away with something. They thought that they could get away with hurting you, doing you wrong. And just 
moving on to live their little life, right? But it didn't quite work out that way. I feel like the universe has stepped in to sit this person down. For some of you, your ancestors could be involved here. Your ancestors ain't gonna let this person just move on like that. Somebody really thought that they could get away with just hurting you and moving on about their business. Hell no, is what I'm picking up here. Somebody is going around in circles in their head about something that happened, what they did to you. Somebody could be thinking about you a lot. Somebody was left out in the cold here. We got this sacrifice couple with Virgo energy. We have this Libra couple with Leo. But then we have this Leo couple with Cancer energy. I feel like somebody was left out in the cold. Somebody is paying for this. Mm-hmm. I feel like this person from your past, you needed this person to come through, to help you. You needed this person. This person just left you out in the cold. Look at this healing energy out here. This is coupled with Capricorn. Again, I'm picking up on a lot of earth. There's a Capricorn that could be suffering right now about you in their feelings. Somebody has regrets because look at what this person left behind. Blessings. This is the energy that is before the healing card. Blessings. Somebody left their blessings somewhere in the past. Somebody threw away a blessing. Look at this transformation energy. It's in the Scorpio's house, but that's what Scorpios do. They transform from the ashes. Okay, Scorpios rise from the ashes. How you got this transformation in the Scorpio house, but we already have Scorpio out here. A definite ending. Somebody is trying to catch up to you. Someone could be... I want to say praying for you. Praying that you would give them another chance. Hear them out. Let's see what else comes out. Speak to me, Father God. Look at this reversed as karmic relationship. It fell right on top of this earth element card. Boy, oh boy, I can't make this up. Look at what we have at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you somebody is sad about you? You see it. This is somebody's current energy about you. Somebody is on regret mode about you. Something that they did. I'm telling you, God done sat this person down. This person cannot run away from what they did to you, how they did you, how they left you. It's almost as if somebody is being forced to watch themselves in a movie. It's like being caught red-handed on footage, somebody having footage of what happened, of what they did, and somebody being forced to sit back and watch. Watch how wrong they did you. And so this is somebody's current energy right now. We have galactic, wealthy man, sudden wealth, wars and battles, health, distant horizons, the main female, transportation, something about a message. We have finances. We have male and female. And then we have baby. Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody could have a health issue here. We have this health. 
coupled with Scorpio energy, a life-threatening disease, a health issue could have caused someone's death. Okay. We have this wars and battles with the sun. I'm picking up mental health, mental health, possibly depression. But I'm also picking up, on the other hand, somebody wanting to come in and fight for your love. Conflict when it comes to love. Mm-hmm. Boy, oh boy. We have this transportation out here coupled with Libra. Traveling. Somebody moving away, leaving. Coupled with this eye balance energy right here. Somebody was left out in the cold. Somebody could have had a whole new life waiting for them. Somebody had a whole future already mapped out and planned. And I feel like when you and this person had a thing, had a connection, were in each other's lives, this person lied to you. They just lied to you. They made it seem like they would always be around. They made it seem like you had a friend, but then when you actually needed one, when you needed this person, they weren't there. This person could have moved far away. Okay, we have distant horizons here coupled with messages. I feel like somebody could have ghosted you and then turned around and had a moment of regret. Then had the nerve to send you a message or try to call you a year later or two. It's like, it's like, do you know how much has changed since then? It's like, come on now. Look at the message. Message. Couple with this partners here. Somebody didn't tell you that they were already in a relationship. Somebody made it seem like they were single, but they really weren't. They could have been on a break from their person when you two met. You see how this male and female, yeah, they're together, but they're not seeing eye to eye. Mm-hmm. Couple with this healing energy. I feel like this could have been this person's situation back when y'all met. Okay, because look at the main female here. She's over here coupled with Leo. Both of these energies are sitting in the Cancer Energy house. So I'm picking up somebody was already involved. Not only did this person ghost you, left you out in the cold when you needed this person the most, but something here about finances, transformation and finances are coupled here. So I feel like This person entered your world, or should I say, they left your world when you were transitioning between careers. Something about a shift in finances and not for the better. We have sudden wealth here with the blessings. Somebody is doing all right right now look at the wealthy man i feel like this wealthy man is the same person 
from the past who had a whole future ahead of them, who knew where they were going, who kept you in the dark about that new little life over there. But I feel like now that the tables have turned, this person is going through some kind of a sacrifice, needing to sacrifice. This person is going through a loss. Let me find out. Mm-hmm. Look at the baby with the body. Somebody could be pregnant here. Woo! Boy, oh boy. I don't know why I'm picking up abortion. Now it's making sense to me as to why we have this baby with the body. But then we have this health with the death. Right? We have this galactic energy. I'm picking up Aquarius with this because there's a lot of stars here. And it's coupled with Sagittarius. Let me find out. I feel like this person thought they had better awaiting. This person left you out in the cold thinking they had a better life ahead of them. But what they ended up here is this karmic ass relationship. Somebody ended up with a karmic who only wants them for their money. And because of that, this person is suffering financial losses right now. This person could be married, maybe not, but I'm strongly picking up this person is being cheated on, okay? This person has regrets because they are realizing that they left the blessing out in the cold, in the past. They threw away a blessing. And that blessing was you. If this does have to do with an abortion, the reason why someone had an abortion is because this person here, and let's just say this person is a masculine, okay? Somebody got an abortion because this masculine wasn't the father. That's just what I'm picking up here. Mm -hmm. There's a masculine's wife who is sleeping around, has been sleeping around. There is a masculine's wife or girlfriend, whatever you want to call her, right? Who has been seeing someone else, something here about secret trips. Boy, oh boy. Mm-hmm. There's a masculine here who feels like he is living his worst nightmare. But all he keeps thinking about is you. Because what he's currently going through is not what he signed up for. You know what? For those of you who are new to my channel, these dates could resonate with you. They could be uh, your birth dates, the birth dates of someone that you know, dates when something actually happened or will happen. I don't know. But anyway, we have January 20th, February 27th, March 1st, January 3rd, January 2nd, February 17th, April 17th. May 19th, June 10th, June 13th, July 7th, July 31st, August 11th, November 8th, November 9th, September 11th, August 10th, August 25th, November 25th, 
December 21st. July 22nd. July 14th. July the 12th. September 15th. March 16th. January 6th, January 7th. November 8th, January 18th, January 19th. October 8th. Let's get the word. Speak to me, Father God. What is going on? Mm, 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 mm. I can't. I really can't with these people, y'all. I can't. We have James the Less here. Something about a single parent. I'm picking up single mother. Mm -hmm. We have here Nathaniel in reverse. Boy, oh boy, number seven. We have Matthew. Look at the numbers on this. Didn't I just tell you something about January 7th? Look at that. 107 right there. Or July 10th or July 1st. But this Matthew here is about a Capricorn. Okay. I'm strongly picking up Capricorn. We have Tornado. Somebody is going through a storm right now. Somebody's whole foundation is being uprooted. Okay. Okay. Somebody is emotionally torn. We have Oracle. Mm -hmm. Intuition. Foresight. Prophetic dreams is what I'm picking up here. Boy, oh boy. Child, please. Look at Matthew 527. Adultery. Yep. Somebody's cheating. Didn't I tell you that? This could be about the fact that somebody put you in a third party in the past. Or the fact that somebody's being cheated on now. Look at the damn Cain and Abel. These are two men right here. Fighting. Two men fighting. Jealousy. Envy. Mm-hmm. A woman could be sleeping with two men. Possibly two family members. I hope it ain't two brothers, but damn it. These are brothers right here. Look at Philip. This is equivalent to Virgo energy. Mm-hmm. When I go to the six o'clock position, we have that sacrifice. I feel like somebody is going to end up moving, either moving back. Or moving on. Leaving a whole entire state. I feel like somebody could be looking for a new job. Somebody has been exposed or people could be in somebody's business. Or this is something that's going on publicly. And somebody feels the need to move, to move away. Look at 2 Timothy here. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Andrew, this is equivalent to cancer energy. Chariot, somebody is moving away. Somebody could be a cancer. But I'm just picking up somebody is moving. Someone is leaving. Something about traveling. We have here this, the branch of Jesse here. This fell right on top of Nathaniel and it's reversed. I feel like this person is realizing that you were innocent. They are realizing that they didn't have to do you that way. For some of you, this has to do with the fact that there were rumors. This person started to spread rumors about you when they were dealing with you. They made you look crazy out there in them streets. They said some foul things about you. And I don't know, maybe you had to move. Maybe you had to leave a job or leave a place or move on to a whole damn state because of what this person did. Okay, but I'm picking up here, someone lied. Someone lied about you. 
okay? Because Jude, not Jude, damn it. Nathaniel is that one from the 12 where it says, Jesus saw Nathaniel coming towards him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there is no deceit. You ain't do nothing wrong to this person. You didn't deserve this treatment, these rumors. You ain't deserve none of this. Anything else? Nothing else is coming out, but it goes back to Second Timothy. This is karmic energy. The part of Second Timothy where it says, basically it's saying trust no one. Women, silly women, in their divers lusts. And allowing people to come into their homes. That sounds like a karmic energy right there. And I feel like that's exactly what this person ended up with. A karmic ass relationship. This fell out in reverse. Someone is regretting their whole entire existence right now. Look at the ancestors. Didn't I tell you something about your ancestors? Ain't letting this person get away with it? I ain't even see this card fall out. But your ancestors are serving a hard, cold dose of karma to this person. Okay? Let's get the oracle. Speak to me, Father God. How do we sum this reading up? What's the oracle for this read? How do we sum this reading up? Speak to me, Father God. Speak to me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. At the bottom here, we have eyes of the eagle. I love this card because it's like this is saying for you, even though this person didn't apologize. Yeah, they may have left you out in the cold, but damn it, you are over it. You're over it. Something about the year of 2018, 2018. OK. This is our oracle right here. It says Metox. Metox. Let's get into it. When the Metox card appears, it challenges you to discard the deep, dearly held judgments that you have passed over yourself and others. Release the people who you feel wronged or offended you. Recognize that they mirror the shadow aspects of your own soul. Yes, it is a tough pill to swallow. Only then can you cull from your life the toxic people you have allowed into your inner circle. It's time for a cleaning of your proverbial house get rid of the thoughts and personal judgments poisoning your mind eliminate the inauthentic beliefs of others you've adopted as your own do so before your mind makes you sick and empty your literal cupboards of the unhealthy junk food poisoning your body fast for one day or skip a meal to allow your body to cleanse itself and rid itself of toxins Metox appears as a warning that you can no longer postpone the self-care and pampering you long for. The time is now. Do healthy maintenance on your body before you have to make repairs that you will never quite recover from. Metox has come to caution you that it is not too late, but you are at the 11th hour. Do not deprive yourself of the health you deserve. Never sees what in a oh, what? I feel like this what your ancestors is not are not what person can be uh what a, and, and now the what excuse me something I'm here what jump what? With that being said, take whatever resonated with you and leave the rest. Listen, y'all, this is me. The means once again, I am the time oracle. I always leave you with peace, love, and everything beautiful from up above. I'm out. One.